Hi, I'm Trisha Brock, and you can hear it all at hearitfirst.com. Jesus, I am resting, resting. In the midst of not having answers to all my questions, in the midst of knowing that sometimes life doesn't feel fair and that um, we don't always get God, we don't, we don't know what He sees. And um, I was talking to a friend the other day about how really like He allows us to question Him and He allows us to find Him on our own. But the truth is that His ways are so much above us that it's really, it's prideful of me to even question, right? But we do and He allows that because I really believe that He he hurt along with me and that he knows those those wounds and he hates to see us go through them. But like a parent, like we see more than our child does maybe. And so we're able to look at like our child's life and go, I'm doing this because. And they don't get it and they will someday. And I know that about God. And um, so with all the unanswered questions, I know that um, life would be scary without him and that um, that he brings peace even when I've been stubborn with him and said, I can't pray today. I don't know what to pray. I can't sing to you today. And I'm kind of um, tired and worn out of like the spiritual process that I'm in, but he doesn't give up on us, you know? And uh, so for wherever you are in every different struggle, um, you know, before this happened and with the health things in our family and stuff, We've had times when we've just felt like weary, you know, like the journey has been long and, and we don't get when something negative hits again, we're just like, really, can I handle this? And But the truth is, is that, that life is this journey and God allows good and bad and, and that really we are so blessed. And, and I believe that we have to worship Him when it hurts and when it doesn't. And that like Job, that's kind of our test. And each one of us has one, you know? that struggle that we've gone through and um, friends of mine who are single longer than they want to be and and friends that can't get pregnant and friends that have lost their jobs and have had to give up on dreams in the last few years and and I just see them holding on to God and I know that it's real when you can hold on when it doesn't feel good.